Okay, this is Rick with Custom Concrete Design, Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. This week I am in Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri on the Bagnell Dam Strip at T. Lafada Salon. This is my wife's salon. Um, in the coming weeks I'm going to be doing the entryway at a metallic epoxy, but this week I'm just working on this little slab here. Obviously I already started the grinding, there's a crack I'm going to have to repair there. Um, I'm going to get the rest of this grinding done, put a base coat on, and we're going to tape out a uh, wood pattern so it's gonna it's gonna be wood planks and we'll stain it make it look like wood um, and then we're gonna seal it down all right well we got the pattern down what I did was is I did uh, four inch planks four inch width and then six inch width and then just kind of staggered the uh, length of them Once we had the pattern down, um, just sprayed over a, um, basically what I call a tack coat. What it does is it seals that tape, kind of locks everything in. So, you know, my next coat that goes over the top of it, being that it's going to be a different color. We don't want that color to bleed up underneath the, ta the tape and get onto our dark route. So we put a tack coat down to basically seal that tape. You can kind of see the pattern. All right, we got this project finished up here at Tila Fada Salon on Lake of the Ozarks. I just finished up a Facebook Live video. So uh, if you guys are, if I'm friends with you on Facebook, um, be sure and tune in to my live videos. Get notifications for those live videos. That way when I do these things. Um, because I've been doing more and more of them on each job. For each step. But on this particular job. You guys know what we did. Because you watched the, the previous videos. Um, but we did the coloring yesterday. And, and then sealed it up. Yesterday afternoon. Really turned out nice. So you really can make concrete look like wood. There you go. Six inch planks, four inch planks, all staggered different lengths. And then I use three different colors. I use bark brown and an amber. And then I use those two colors to make my third color. Really turned out nice though got some great texture to it I'll give you a little bit more of a close-up here made some knot holes nail holes If you guys are on my YouTube channel, make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss any of my videos. Hit that little like button if you like the video. Leave me a comment if you like the work. But make sure you get subscribed as well. You don't want to miss these videos because there's going to be some pretty cool ones coming up. And if you got any questions about this that maybe uh, I haven't addressed in my videos here, um, leave me some comments below and I'll get back to you with a reply uh, I don't give everything away necessarily on the video because then it just makes it too long and I really don't do any how-to videos although I could um, I don't but I may do some of those in the future
see you guys on the next project oh by the way um, below this video will be probably a couple links one to my Facebook page so hit that and go like that page if you like my work uh, the other one is a link to my website you can check out all the videos and all the projects I have before and after photos of all of them so go check that out it's www.customconcretedesign.info of course the links are below so just click those and we'll see you guys on the next project